Yes, yeah, so Zazi, welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Tuesday and choosing to spend it with you and bringing you all things health. You've heard some of those incredible, inspiring conversations. But let's dive into the inspiring people that look after us and keep us in check. Yes, I'm talking about public healthcare education. It is the cornerstone of informed and empowered communities and giving us the knowledge and tools to make informed decisions about our well-being and contributing to the health of society as a whole. So here to discuss this in detail, we have a lecture at Pharmacy School, UWC, Tanya Dube in the building. Tanya, how are you doing? Thank you very much. I'm doing well. Yeah, look, yeah. this is uh, something we always celebrate on the show, especially healthcare workers. So before we even get into the celebration, let's just dive into what it actually means, right? So what is public healthcare education, actually? So simply put, um, public health education is providing information to okay. communities and individuals, mm -hmm. and the goal there is to improve well-being. And so we tend to focus on prevention, so disease prevention and health promotion, and really what we want to do is to empower communities and individuals to manage their health. I love that. And I believe that a great way of any form of management is allowing us to get information first so we can Absolutely. obviously use that to our advantage. Now, I believe pharmacies offer such a plethora of information when it comes to health and advice. I didn't know this only until later. I always thought you've got to go to the doctor, book a consultation, but there are incredible people in pharmacies yes. doing such good work. Yes. What sort of information can we actually get from pharmacies that I'm sure a lot of us actually aren't even aware of? Okay, so first I want to just highlight. Yeah that you're right, uh, we've moved, not moved away, but um, the role of pharmacists has expanded beyond <laughs> just dispensing medicines, yes. which is what we tend to think about when you think of pharmacists. Mm. So we provide a variety of information. Um, just think about medicine. So we're the medicine experts, right? Uh, I like that, uh, medicine experts. Yes, yeah. we are. And so <laughs> in terms of the information that we can provide when it comes to medicines, one of the buzzwords at the moment for us as pharmacists, especially in public health, is around rational use of medicine. So we yeah, want yeah. to ensure that people use medicines appropriately because we want to optimize your health outcomes mm. when you use medicines. So we want to ensure that you use the right dose at, and the right timing of those doses. And that, so when you think of, for instance, antibiotics, that you finish the course because we're concerned about things like resistance. Yes. And then when you think about other medicines, like say for pain management that have a risk for abuse and addiction, mm. again, we want to make sure that people use them appropriately. Again, so that we optimize your health outcomes when you use medicines. Another pet project of mine lately is that um, we also provide information around how to appropriately dispose of medicines. Oh, yeah, we don't actually think about that, mm, yeah. Because if you think about it, or maybe if I ask you, I know I'm not supposed to be interviewing you, but how do you dispose of medicines? Yeah, I, I just kind of look at the effect of whether it's plastic or not and then recycle it. But beyond that, I don't really do much. I mean, it just gets disposed in the bin. Uh, well, the correct method would be to take it back to your pharmacy okay. so they can uh, dispose of it appropriately. Because what again, what we don't want is expired or unused medicines landing up in the wrong hands ah. or in our water and landfill which has an impact on the environment ah, so okay. there's, there's a, a some, bigger picture going on yes, here. So yeah. some, that's some of the information you can get from your pharmacist around medicines but again our expertise goes beyond medicines mm. so lifestyle related um, information so your patients maybe that have diabetes or hypertension or cholesterol we can provide you with non-medicine related information that either help you manage the condition or if you don't have the condition, we help you prevent getting the condition in the first place. I love that. So the information you're providing not only can help you in a dire situation, but improve your quality of life. So Absolutely. you don't need to struggle while you're living in Zanzi. We've got pharmacists looking out for us. So what I want to ask you, what are some of the maybe misconceptions when it comes to health, just in our country in general? I'm sure as a pharmacist and as pharmacists, you've experienced some crazy things. What are the, 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 the myths that you can maybe just break for us right now? Okay, I think the myths, especially when it comes to public health, I would say the biggest myth is that we tend to think of it as this really complicated um, strategy that is difficult to implement. But I think for me, what drew me to public health is it's such simple solutions and yet highly effective yeah. and evidence-based. So for instance, we all went through COVID, which I'm sure we don't want to remember. Yep. But if you think about how we all, we're all told to wash our hands, that is a public health initiative. That was public health information. 
And we all know that it was very effective in preventing yeah. infection. So I think if, if I leave nothing else with South Africa, it's just that public health is really effective simple to implement and yet we and very very effective especially in our context in south africa where we we have limited resources um public health actually offers us an initiative or a strategy rather that is effective that doesn't necessarily cost much both for us as the patients yeah. and also for us as the healthcare providers oh absolutely beautiful mm. stuff tanya dubey thank you for coming through for serving for inspiring for educating and i think i have a new appreciation beyond what i already had for pharmacists so thank you for the incredible work you're doing and Mzanzi, i hope this is a reminder to you to go utilize the incredible service that pharmacists are offering right now and also an opportunity to remember that you stand the chance to win 1000 rand daily and that's with adcock ingram otc sponsors of brave and that's during the month of september the month we're in right now so simply reply to the competition post on our Facebook, Twitter or Instagram pages and tell us who your favorite pharmacist is and why. Is it Tanya? I don't know. Let us know. But competition closes up midday today. T's and C's can be found at expressoshow.com. And with that, I give you nothing more but magic. Enjoy. <laughs> nice stuff. September is Pharmacy Month. In proud association with Adcock Ingram, OTC sponsors of Brave, inspiring communities one pharmacy at a time.